Alright, what's going on guys? G Casey here, bringing you episode number two of our Final Fantasy playthrough, uh, Final Fantasy VII playthrough. And we are picking things up, uh, entering the Sector 7 slums. <clears throat> so that's the bar we'll be going to. Barrett just went in there and cleaned it out with all the uh, civilian stragglers. Did you hear? No, what? There's a news update. They say that there was a terrorist explosion up above, and at this time it was a Mako reactor. You know what this means? No, what? You see, I keep on top of these things, and if you ask me, if you knock out Midgard's power, then all of its computers and signals are going to be knocked out too. Financially, there must have been about a billion gil worth of damage. And that ain't all, a lot of innocent people got killed too. If the explosion had been in the middle of the night, that would have been one thing. At least the people could have gone in their sleep. So really, our explosion had killed people? Like, innocent people? I didn't realize that. Barrett says, okay, go on ahead. Alright, we'll go into the bar and we'll see what's going on here. Papa. Marlene, aren't you going to say anything to Cloud? She's shy. Well, here she comes. Welcome home, Cloud. Looks like everything went well. Did you fight with Barrett? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I should have known. He's always pushing people around, and you've always been in fights ever since you were little. I was worried. This is Tifa. One of the most iconic characters in the game. Flowers, how nice. You almost never see them here in the slums. Oh yeah, because we bought the flower from that, uh, that girl in the slums. But... A flower for me? Oh, Cloud, you shouldn't have. Let's give it to Marlene. Good, so we'll talk to the team here. Ah, nothing like that first drink after a job. Hick! Why don't you have one too? Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, that's more like it. Even if you were a soldier, you're still a rookie here, so you better listen to whatever I tell you. I guess that could be true. Which says, oh, Cloud, Tifa really knows how to cook. Anyway, let me tell you something. Uh, about what? Tifa always lets me taste her cooking. And look at me now. I'm roly-poly. I don't know whether I should be happy or sad, but it's good food and drinks that makes this shop famous. So this is Tifa's bar here. It's called Seventh Heaven. And we'll uh, learn a little bit more about it later. Hey, Wedge, you're getting all excited. Stop making such a mess. I'll talk to Tifa one more time. Sorry, Cloud. Marlene seems a little shy. Yeah, she is shy. So we'll get Barrett back in here. Papa, welcome home. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Huh? Where'd you get that flower? Cloud gave it to me. Oh. <laughs> Did you thank him? <laughs> thank you, Cloud. We'll take care of you. Oh, that was cute. You alright, Barrett? Great. Get in here, fools. We're starting the meeting. The secret downstairs compartment area, I guess. Let's talk to Tifa first, though, before we head down there. A little more private now. Seems to be a past between these two. Sit down. How about something to drink? Give me something hard. Just a minute, I'll make one for you. There we go, got our drink. You know, I'm relieved you made it back safely. What's with you all of a sudden? That job wasn't even tough. I guess not. You were in soldier. Make sure you get your pay from Barrett. Don't worry, once I get that money, I'm out of here. He's kind of being a dick. Cloud, are you feeling alright? Yeah, why? No reason, you just look a little tired, I guess. Yeah. We'll talk to the people down here again. like to get all the exposition. Jesse says, oops. Hey, look at the news. What a blast. Think it was all because of my bomb? But all it really did was just make it like the computer told me. Oh no, I must have made a miscalculation somewhere. Well, it did the job, but apparently it killed a bunch of innocent people, so... I mean, unless they're just talking about the people who are working at the Mako... Or at the Mako reactor, in which case, I mean... 
They're Shinra employees, so the way we see it, they're not really innocent. Although, if they're just basic uh, workers, then they would be, right? Wedge says, you think I'm a little too uptight? Uh, no. Well, that's okay. Don't worry about me. I don't look like it, but I'm a coward at heart. Okay, yeah, well, you do look like it a little bit. And, uh, we can't go that way. So, we're stuck in the meeting. Yo, Cloud, there's something I want to ask you. Was there anyone from Soldier fighting us today? None. I'm positive. You sound pretty sure. If there was anyone from Soldier, you wouldn't be standing here n now. Don't go thinking you so bad just because you was in Soldier. But I am so bad. <laughs> Barrett's pretty badass too. Yeah, you're strong. Probably all them guys in Soldier are. But don't forget that your skinny ass is working for Avalanche now. Don't get no ideas about hanging on to Shinra. Staying with Shinra? You asked me a question and I answered it. That's all. Oh, get in his face. I'm going upstairs. I want to talk about my money. Wait, Cloud. Tifa, let him go. Looks like he still misses the Shinra. Shut up. I don't care about neither Shinra nor Soldier. But don't get me wrong. I don't care about Avalanche or the planet for that matter. Yeah, you're big and bad, Cloud. String things up with everyone for me, says Tifa. Let's just go upstairs. That's what we want to do. Listen, Cloud, I'm asking you, please join us. Sorry, Tifa. The planet is dying. Slowly but surely, it's dying. Someone has to do something. So let Baird and his buddies do something about it. It's got nothing to do with me. So, you're really leaving? You're just going to walk right out ignoring your childhood friend? And bam, there it is. What? How can you say that? Or sorry? It seems like Cloud doesn't remember, so let's uh, go with the sorry. You forgot the promise, too. Promise? So you did forget. Remember, Cloud, it was seven years ago. Some more plot lines. Look, the well. Do you remember? He's trying. Yeah, back then. I thought you would never come, and I was getting a little cold. There she is. Sorry I'm late. <clears throat> they look really young here. Just seven years ago, I guess they were like ten or something. You said you wanted to ask to talk to me about something. Come this spring, I'm leaving town for Midgar. So they're not in Midgar right now. All the boys are leaving town. Or not right now, I mean like in this flashback, they're in a different city. But I'm different from them. I'm not just going to find a job. I want to join Soldier. So we hear a lot about Soldier so far. I'm going to be the best thing there is, just like Sephiroth. Sephiroth? The Great Sephiroth? He's like, yep. Isn't it hard to join Soldier? I probably won't be able to come back to this town for a while. Is she giggling about that? Huh? <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. My cat just started attacking my head. Um, if you make it, will you be in the newspapers? I'll try. Hey, let's make a promise. Um, if you get really famous and I'm ever in a bind, 
You'll come save me, all right? What? If I'm ever in trouble, my hero will come rescue me. I want to experience that at least once. What? Come on, Cloud. It's not that hard. Come on, promise me. Alright, I promise. And there it is. So we promised we'd help Tifa if she was ever in a bind. And she's trying to cash in on that right now. You remember now, don't you? Our promise. I'm not a hero, and I'm not famous, so I can't keep our promise. <clears throat> but you got your childhood dream, didn't you? You joined Soldier. So come on, you've got to keep your promise. Wait a sec, big time soldier. A promise is a promise. Here. 1500 gil. This is my pay? Don't make me laugh. What? Then you'll... You got the next mission lined up? I'll do it for 3000. What? It's okay, it's okay. Psst. We're really hurting for help, right? Ugh. That money's for Marlene's schooling. 2,000. Tifa says, thanks, Cloud. Alright. So it looks like, um... Cloud is looking to get a little bit more money. He's just trying to be the mercenary douchebag right now. And he's doing a good job of it. So the mission's all lined up now. We're just waking up, I guess, after a sleep. We'll do a little exploring around the town before we actually head out anywhere. <clears throat> Good morning, Cloud. Did you sleep well? Uh, we'll do... Barrett's snoring kept me up. Keep it down, they'll hear you. Barrett always gets edgy before an operation. I'm going this time. Oh, cool. Tifa's coming. Our target's the Sector 5 reactor. Head for the station first. I'll fill you in on the train. Alright. Yo, Cloud, before the next mission, I got something I want to ask you. Uh, I don't really know how to use the materia. I'll give you that materia we found. Just teach me how to use it. Uh, you wouldn't understand. Well, we'll skip the whole tutorial. So this guy is, is what makes them... What? So this is what makes them guys and soldiers so great, huh? Okay, I'll ask Jesse again later, but you're in charge of the materia. So, yeah. I got a message from the weapon shop man upstairs. He has something he wants to give you, so don't forget. Got it. Marlene, you watch the store while we're gone. Alright, good luck. So, Marlene, the, like, seven-year-old girl or whatever, is in charge of the bar. So we are in charge of the materia. Let's go ahead and get that equipped right now. Uh, we'll give Tifa the restore materia, which is the heal. Um, actually, let's see if there's anything we can give anyone. No. No. Cool. And any additional materia? It's only the restore. Okay, got it. We'll worry more about that later. So let's explore. We'll come around here go into this house. We'll go in every house because, you know, it's an RPG game. We're looking to explore the world, so we'll do that. Ah, uh, another slow day. If this keeps up, the store is going under. Can't sell any really good medicine in something like this. Oh, look at this. This doesn't happen every day. Are you a customer? We are. Well, maybe. So I do have a fire materia, which I will buy because fire could be useful, but other than that, we have everything else. So... We'll give the fire to Barrett. Oops. So he can cast fire now. So I guess I can do a quick overview about how materia works in case you're not sure. Um, essentially, like if I take off all the materia we have, I keep forgetting there's faster ways to do this. Um, the weapon and the armor that each character uses has a certain amount of slots in it that you can place materia in. So for the Buster Sword, there's two slots. For the Bronze Mangle, there's none. So that means for Cloud, we can put in two Materia. Um, in this case, the two slots are combined, like are connected to each other. Um, so certain Materia can actually work really well um, connecting with another piece of Materia. But as of right now, we don't really have anything that, um, that works that well together. So we'll just throw the Lightning and the Ice on there. 
Um, adding materia, you can see down here in the equipment effects, or the equip effects, we lose strength, but we gain magic. For these materia, there are other materia that can boost your strength and stuff like that, but since these are magic spells, they all reduce strength and they increase magic. So you can make your physical attacks hit harder if you take off materia, essentially. But that's not something we really want to do because we are... Uh, here's another story here. So, because we are um, looking to level up our materia as well. So, we'll get three iron bangles. And this will allow us to... Just increase our defense a little bit. And also, now our defensive items can store materia. So, we kind of want Cloud to be a little bit more... Uh, physically strong because his physical attack is pretty good so we'll take off the ice and we'll give it to Tifa all right just one condition you got to give me some cash all right we'll give him 10 gil oh man oh man go ahead and help yourself to the room why not 10 gills absolutely nothing might as well be nice so let's check this room first now this is a big tutorial room Everyone here teaches you things about the fighting mechanics and stuff like that. It's really not something I have to do right now, but we will talk to this guy. This is Beginner's Hall. You say you're a beginner, but your eyes say you're not. Cloud says, don't mess with me. I used to be in Soldier. I'll tell you how much I know, and for free, too. So he really just likes to show off. What do you know? Blah, blah, blah. We don't need to talk about any of this, because I already know all of it. Because I am super smart. And I play this game a lot. Good. So we'll talk to this person. We get the all materia. Hey, you got one You got one right off. That was materia. Next, take this treasure chest. Ether. Good. Hidden in these treasure chests are lots of items. Box types and bag types to m make sure you don't look at, uh, overlook any. Awesome. And there's a save file here. We don't need to do this right right now, though. And we'll go up one more set of stairs, or sorry, the ladder here. And this is where the kid was telling us we can rest. Yeah, we might as well do it. Not a, oh, we're going to do it automatically. Awesome. Don't even have a choice. I can't believe my cat was, like, attacking my head. She was biting my hair and, like, chewing on it. Because every once in a while, I'll put my, uh, my headset on. And she gets jealous, I think, that I'm talking to people. She thinks I'm talking to people, obviously, because she's a like, little cat. But it's pretty funny. All right, so we've, we're done with this house here. I think there's another place we could check out. Everyone's here getting ready to go. We're just kind of holding them up. Yeah, there's this house right here. Ha, ha. I wonder if my son's already left. When it's just my wife and I here, you have no idea how lonesome it gets. Aw. He used to give us nothing but headaches when he was here, but now that he's gone, we kind of miss him. Strange, isn't it? Yeah, it makes sense. There's really nothing else in this house, just a family that misses their kid. And we accidentally talked to them twice. So let's talk to some of the people out here. Uh, we'll just do this guy. Listen, if there isn't anyone to listen, then what's the use of getting gossip on everyone? Yeah, and you, Mr. I don't care. I'll get a little more information that would pique even your interest. You wait and see. Okay, whatever. Alright, so you know what? I think this episode might, uh... We might cut this episode a little bit early. There was no fighting or anything, but I know that we're about to kick off a big sequence. Um, at least, you know what... All right, I'll, uh, it, it's a little early. We're looking at a 20, 22 minutes right now, maybe even less than that. So uh, I'll, I'll go on to the next save point. Should be good to go. Morning, dawn comes and things never change. You be careful not to get hurt. Come back again, here? Sure. So we'll get on the train, do a little more dialogue, a little more exposition. It's kind of it kind of shitty because I haven't really had a chance to talk about um, what's really been going on yet. Um, although it's not that hard to follow, um, with all the, uh, role-playing going on right now, it's really hard for me to, uh, you know, 
talk at an extended length of time without forcing the screen to sit still like this for long periods of time. So we'll pick it up again. Barrett says, yo, this ain't no private car, so split up. Hoodlums again. God, don't I just have all the luck. Uh, I think, I think Barrett heard that. You say something? <laughs> I said you say something? Now look at that. It got empty all of a sudden. What's going on? Damn. It's it's empty because of guys like you. Wow. Y yipes. You, you've seen the news, right? Avalanche says there'll be more bombings. Only devoted employees like me would go to Midgar on a day like today. You work for Shinra? I won't give in to violence, and Tifa's just breaking up the fight, basically. Fuck, you lucky fuck! <laughs> so, what are we gonna do now? Fuck, the hell you so calm? You're busting up my rhythm. I'm just gonna say fuck every time he swears, even if it doesn't make sense. Seems better that way. Looks like they just finished connecting the cars. We're finally leaving. Barrett's gotta calm down. So what's our next target? Ha, <laughs> listen to Mr. Sirius about his work. Alright, I'll tell you. Jesse's probably already told you, but there's a security checkpoint at the top plate. It's an ID scan system checking all the trains. Which Shinra is very proud of. We can use our fake IDs anymore. Or, sorry, we can't use our fake IDs anymore. Good morning and welcome to Midgar Lines. The arrival time is Sector 4 Station is 11.45. That means we've got only three more minutes to the ID checkpoint. Alright, in three minutes we're jumping off this train. Got it? Oh, that makes That's kind of crazy. Cloud, come over here. Let's look at the railway map monitor. <sighs> Everybody always wants to look at things. Hmm, you're the only ones that talk to me or come to my house. I'm impressed. Well, don't don't worry about me. Oh man, oh man, oh man. I'm going to brag to everyone to work about this. What? It seems you've seen this already. All right, come a little closer. That's odd. The ID checkpoint was supposed to be further down. Type A security alert. Unidentified passengers confirmed. A search of all cars will be conducted. Repeat. Type I blah 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 blah. Got it. Music's changing. What's happening? What's going on? Things are getting epic. Jesse says we're in trouble. I'll explain later. Hurry, get to the next car. Fuck! Someone blew it. Located in car one, preparing for lockdown. Let's go, keep it up. So we basically gotta keep moving down the cars. Um, we'll have a chance to, they're just telling us to get out of the cars here, it's pretty simple stuff, but we can actually talk to some people and sometimes you'll get things, um, from some of these customers, a lot of times not really though. Yeah. High potion, oh shit, ah, I fucked it up, oh my god, did I really do that? Wow. What? That's it? That didn't do anything. What did I get? Well, jump from here. Follow me, you expensive leech. I can't believe I screwed that up, but we didn't really miss anything. Um, I believe it's going to make our journey to the save point a little longer, but at least we'll get a little bit more combat in. Fuck, <laughs> it's so funny. Things that I never do before, I do when I record the game. We were forced to get this far out. We can't just go back now, we gotta go on. Biggs, Wedge, and Jesse did good. Now it's our turn. So we can go south, but it'll lead us to a couple guards, and they'll block the way, and it's just going to waste time, so we'll go north. There will be some random battles here, so we'll be able to try Tifa out. And actually, really quickly, let's set up the materia. Uh, can't do it just yet. We'll do it later. So if we were to have done the train park correctly, we would have been able to, uh, it would have been a much quicker walk to where we're going. But I don't mind the extra experience, to be honest. We're just going to attack right now. Magic doesn't really matter all that much. Unless we're missing like that. 
Tifa's really weak. I think I might just throw her in the back row and make her a mage. Which is basically what I was planning on doing with her anyway. relatively simple fight there and this video will be coming to an end shortly we are almost done I believe there's a save point right up to uh, where we're heading here so things will work out I'm still shocked that I screwed up that train sequence uh, you know, it's talking and playing at the same time, getting my and feeling like I have to read everything that pops up on the screen kind of threw me off a little bit there. I mean, if there's a whole bunch of quick dialogue like that, obviously I can't read it all, right? So I'll read what I think is important for the story. Some things that are just quick little stupid character quirks are things that maybe I won't read out loud every single time. So these guys are only here to slow our progress, which is good. Oh, come on, Cloud. Alright, I think I'm going to just start using magic soon. Well, let's hit the one we haven't hit yet. So Bolt is good against guys like that. So <laughs> we had to jump off the train early and now we're just walking along the train tracks. Those light beams are the Shinra security sensors. We can't go any further. But conveniently, what is this? That's one damn tiny hole. You're telling me to squeeze into that to get under the plate? No way. Yo, Cloud, what are we gonna do? We're gonna go down. But damn, man, that thing gives me the chills. We're all gonna go down on top of each other. Got another ether. Ether is what we use to replenish our magic points. I think we'll use it uh, much later on in the game. For now, we won't need it. So it looks like we're getting underground here. So basically what's been going on is we, we're helping out this team Avalanche that is interested in um, taking down the Shinra company. Shinra appears to be like kind of the powers that be. They're the ones that are sort of in charge of the city. Running it just because they control the Mako energy or basically the electricity of the, the city. Um, so everyone who works for Shinra is rich. It's, it's like the government, right? Like, whoever works for Shinra is um, in a position of power, whereas everyone else is like, um, everyone else is poor, living in the slums of the city, things like that. So Avalanche feels that uh, Shinra's been uh, using up too much Mako energy and essentially harming the planet with it. It's same thing as like us with driving cars and stuff, you know, causing pollution. Barrett thinks that, you know, Mako energy being sucked out of the ground and used for electricity is hurting the planet. Um, so he's going as far as literally blowing up reactors in order to, um, in order to take down Shinra. It's, it's like his number one goal in life. Jesse says, I'm sorry. The ID scan problem on the train was all my fault. I modified your ID card, and that's what did it. I did my best, but I failed. Next time I'll give you something better. I'll be back at the hideout in my research room working on it. Okay, whatever. It's not really a big deal. We had to walk like an extra five minutes. And there's the save point. I think there might be a chance of a fight. Big says, we're going to pull out now. We'll meet up at the hideout. Cloud, we're counting on you to blow up the reactor. Yeah, so we're basically looking to blow up all the reactors in Midgar, I suppose, one at a time. 
Um, Alright guys, so this is going to be the end of this episode. I hope you've enjoyed episode 2. I know there's a lot of talking, not so much action. Uh, but the next episode uh, promises to have some pretty epic stuff going on in the storyline. So thanks again. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned. The next one's coming out soon.